to Brandon Judd right now, the National Border Patrol Council president. Brandon, it almost makes you feel like we have to do what they're doing or plan to do in Italy. A blockade, a little bit different, of course, when you're talking about, you know, a landlocked border here. But I'm just wondering, uh, what do you think of the way Italy is dealing with this? Well, I think that what they're doing is absolutely uh, astonishing. I, th I think that when you look at this liberal government recognizing how bad this issue is, the people of Italy realizing how bad this issue is, and they're actually going to start to do something, yet our government isn't going to follow suit. You know, they're going to put up a blockade because their laws allow them. We can't do a blockade. Even if we stretched our border hand in hand with Border Patrol agents, that group of 2,200 migrants that crossed the border, we can't push them back into Mexico. So we we can't stop them from coming. We have to take them into custody. But there are other things that this administration could do to stop this. And we've proven that in the past. President Trump proved what policies are, are effective. All we have to have from this administration is the proper policy, and we could stop this tomorrow. They just don't want to do it because they're worried about their base supporters. They're worried that they're going to get them out to the, to the polls, and so they constantly appease them. You know, but now those base supporters are getting a little antsy, if you think about it, right, Baron? Because the New York Mayor Adams and the New York Democratic Governor Hochul are concerned that this is so out of control of the border, especially when it's at their doorsteps. When you got a state that had declared that it would be a sanctuary state just a few years ago, New Jersey saying, no mas, we can't deal with this. Uh, there, there is a division in the ranks there. There's a little bit of a division, but that, that division hasn't grown big enough. I mean, when you have AOC that goes out, that does a, uh, a rally in favor of people coming to New York City, saying that there's a, a good idea for a tax on the American people to support these people in New York City. So there is a little bit of a chink in the armor, but it hasn't grown big enough yet. And until that base changes its mind, until that base realizes that we have to do what's best for this country, not what's best for other other countries or for other people from other countries until they realize that we have to do what's best for this country we're going to continue to see this problem this administration will not do anything until its base changes its mind yeah i'm wondering if that base did get a little bit of a shocker though brandon when you know uh, alexander casio cortez and jerry nadler two liberals who were speaking to this group um you were booed down essentially shouted down i don't think they anticipated that do you think that was a wake-up moment or a short live one I, I think it's very short lived and, and what mm. they're doing and, and listening to all the rhetoric on Capitol Hill. I spent an awful lot of time there listening to that rhetoric. What they're saying is they're saying those were conservatives that were out there saying that that wasn't their base. That's what that's the rhetoric that's going around right now. And that's what they would have everybody believe, even though, Neil, you and I both know that uh, citizens of New York City, they're fed up with this. The base is, in fact, fed up with it. But until there's a lot more voices out there, this administration is going to continue doing what they're doing. Remember, we could stop this tomorrow. There are ways to do it. This administration won't give us that policy that's necessary. Real quickly, I think it hits home when it is at home, though, when it is on the streets in New York City, just a couple of blocks from here, and you have hundreds of migrants lined up. I mean, maybe that is the moment. Well, New York for New York City, it is. They've reached right, the breaking right. point. The Border Patrol, we've reached the reach, reached the breaking point. But that's New York City. That might be Los Angeles. But there's a bunch of other liberal cities. There's a, a bunch of liberal other liberal states. They haven't reached the breaking point yet. And All so right. the base still is where it's at. They're not going to give up. All right, you might be right about that, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.